So let's look at an, another example of a relation on the integers. So a relation R is defined on Z by A relates to B if 2 divides A minus B. So just remember, I'll make a note here, recall what does it mean to divide um, x divides, or I'll say, uh, we're talking about integers, m divides n if n equals m times k for some k in the integers. So I want you to, again, prove or disprove the following. So A, R is reflexive. So let's take an arbitrary integer, I'll call it A, and let's look at a minus a, well that's zero. And can I write this difference as two times something? I can write it as two times zero. So then I could say two divides a minus a. So that means a is related to itself, and so my answer is yes, R is reflexive. And again, this is kind of like our, this right here, this is our outline. So let's write the proof now. Let A be any integer, Z. Well then, a minus a equals zero. So a minus a equals two times zero and two divides a minus a. Therefore, a is related to a. So every element is related to itself. Thus, R is reflexive. Okay, so we proved that this relation is reflexive. Let's see, is this part B, is R symmetric? So let's say I know A is related to B. That means I know that 2 divides A minus B. So that means A minus B equals 2 times K for some K and Z. But I want to know, is B related to A? So if I move all of my terms over to the left-hand side, I would get 0 equals B minus A plus 2K. And so I'd get negative 2K equals B minus A. So now let's look at what this equation says. It says b minus a equals negative 2k, but really I can write this as 2 times negative k. And so here I now can say that 2 divides b minus a because negative k is an integer. And so my answer is yes. R is symmetric, and again, this is the 
right here, what I figured out, this is the outline of my proof. So let's write our proof now based on that outline. Assume A is related to B, then 2 divides A minus B. So A minus B equals 2 times K for some K and Z. Now, we moved around our terms, 0 equals B minus A plus 2K, and B minus A equals negative 2K. Therefore, B minus A was 2 times negative K, where negative K is in, in Z. Hence, we can conclude that 2 divides B minus A, and B is related to A. Thus, R is symmetric. And the last thing we're going to look at, part C, I want you to either prove or disprove R is transitive. So remember how transitivity works. Transitive, A relates to B. You assume A relates to B and B relates to C. So here, what does A relating to B mean? It means that 2 divides A minus B, and 2 divides B minus C. And so then the question becomes, is A related to C? So you can say, does does 2 divide A minus C? Well, let's look here. If 2 divides A minus B, then I can say A minus B equals 2 times K, and then 2 divides B minus C, so B minus C equals 2 times some integer, I'll call it M, for some K and M and Z, and so now what you should do is take your two equations and let's see what happens when I add these two together. If I add the left-hand side together, the negative B and B will cancel, so you get A minus C equals 2K plus 2M. A minus C equals 2K plus M, and K plus M is an integer because it's the sum of two integers. And so 2 divides A minus C. So the answer is yes, 2 divides A minus C, which means that this relation is, in fact, transitive. So I'm going to say yes, R is transitive. And now we need to write the proof, but again, our outline is all up here. So this is our outline here, and then this part up here is also part of our outline. So we're just going to write it now formally. So assume A is related to B, and B is related to C then 2 divides A minus B, and 2 divides B minus C. So A minus B 
equals 2 times k, and b minus c equals 2 times m for some integers, k and m, adding these equations together, we get a minus c equals 2k plus 2m, a minus c equals 2 times k plus m, and since the addition of integers is, in, is an integer, since k plus m is in z, 2 divides a minus c and a is related to c. Therefore, r is transitive. And that completes the proof. So this relation was reflexive, symmetric, and transitive.